<laughs> All right. Hi, this is Andy Marcoux from CoachmansDelight.com. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was a little obnoxious thing that so often happens when we're out driving, and that is the whip gets hung up on your harness. You know, I know you've had it happen to you. It certainly has happened to me a million times. So let's kind of take a, a quick look at one example of that. Um, the thing of it is, it never happens when you're just going out and driving. I mean, if it does, it's not that big a deal. But you know, it often happens when you're in the middle of a cones course and they're in the middle of a, a pleasure show or something like that. It usually happens right in front of everybody. It's really obnoxious. And then your whip gets stuck there and you can't figure out how to get it undone, but you're trying to drive a perfect circle or everything like that. So I'm going to give you a little tip on how to get that whip unstuck. So Kathy is driving along in her regular driving position. Let's pretend that you're driving. Pila's just kind of standing here hanging out. Not a very interesting lesson for you, is it, Pila? She says, no. Do you have anything to eat? All right. So, and so maybe Kathy uses the whip on the pony, but what often happens, let me see if I can see my camera and there we go, is the whip comes down and Kathy begin to draw the whip back up, please. And it'll get hung up on these little billets, right? Now what happens is hopefully, I don't know if we can see on the video that that whip getting bent, oh my God, it's like you got a big old bass on the hook, all right? And so the harder you pull that, the more that whip gets kind of wedged into that position. The answer is you're gonna take the whip and instead of trying to pull you know, yoink the whip out of the place where it's snagged, you're gonna shoot the whip down and away from where it's snagged. So go ahead and, and do that down and away, and it just pops that whip right out of that position. So one more time, give me the whip. And you know, it gets hung up in a lot of, a lot of different places on the harness or on the carriage, but this is just one of the most common places. So that whip is there, it's caught, go ahead and draw it up a little bit and then there's tension on that whip and so now this time Kathy go a little bit slow as you go down and away to get that whip unhung up so down and it just falls right out of that position let's just do it one more time just in case editing is needed whip is caught tension so there you are driving away like, oh man, my whip is caught, this sucks. And then we take that whip down and away, boom, and it gets unhung up, right? So that's all there is to it. And you know, that can happen if you're really stretching out and reaching that whip forward because you're trying to kind of, uh, you know, contain a horse who's overbent and flexed and of course here it is again same exact type of scenario go ahead and draw the whip up just as you were coming back that whip just gets hung up on that harness and you see her whip is super bent because she's like oh man i need to be driving right now so kathy if you go ahead and down and out and away from the snag and it freeze it right up. It's beautiful. It doesn't work for every absolute, every time, but more times than not, if your whip is hung up, don't resist the direction that the whip is hung up from. Push away, down and away, and kind of towards what it's hung up on, and you'll get that whip hung up, unhung up. One of those things. And, you know, also, incidentally, if you're out, somebody who drives in the woods quite a bit, sometimes you're driving along, and I'll be the tree, you know, the tree comes along and hangs up the whip. So now the whip is hung up on this tree branch. What you want to do with the whip in this scenario is, Kathy, follow the movement of the tree past the carriage. And then what you end up doing is straightening the whip and it gets unhung up from the branches pretty easily. So that's it. This is Kathy. Say hi, Kathy. Hello. And this is Pilar. Hi, Pilar. She says, this is boring. Can I go back to my barn and eat some hay now? Sure. All right, that's it. Once again, Andy Marcoux from CoachmansDelight.com, and that's your little whip tip for the day. Take care.